I want to be a Yale leader because I really have a, a, a passion for this university. I'm really attracted to the spirit that it promotes. The people here are great. Everybody here is polite. I love the values that we have here at A&M. Uh, and to give back to A&M, I feel like the best way I could do that is as a service junior Yale leader. As a Yale leader, I don't, I'm not sure I'd do anything different because uh, Yale leader is a hundred year old tradition. And, uh, and tradition, it, to me, means, it, it means like, it means staying, keeping everything the same the way it is. I feel like everything as a Yale leader is, is good for now. I think I, I wouldn't change a thing. Well, I want to be a Yale leader to give back to this university. I love Texas A&M with all my heart, and I truly mean that. I've been taking from this university way too much. I've been taking my, you know, I've been taking memories, a great education, friends and family. Um, and I'm just ready to give back. I'm ready to give back my heart, my time and experience and spirit to this university. So I'm going to bring my own personal flair to it. Just be myself, meet everyone I possibly can with my smile. And, uh, you know, I don't know if that will change much, but I'll try to just be a personable guy, meet everyone, shake hands, um, get people excited about sporting events about all events, uh, get them there, keep people involved. I think that's very important. So uh, I'll do that the best I can. I just love it. I'm not even thinking about voting just because I'm just having a good time. And uh, I encourage you all to vote. And uh, I look forward to seeing you around campus. I'll be wearing this shirt. So come find me. And uh, I appreciate your time. Since the fall of 1999, the, tra the traditions have been lost just a little bit. And I want to bring that back the spirit back, that burning desire to beat the hell out of the TU every single year. I want to bring that back. And I believe my student bonfire experience the past two years, we could do that. We could change the, this, the, the low spirit of them and make it so large that no one could stop us or top us. But I want to bring back the farmer's fight chant um, at, um, at the Reed Arena basketball games. Um, that chant was so great, gave me goosebumps. And I believe we should do that again, bring back the old Army values, old Army traditions, and we could beat the hell out of whoever, playing, whoever we are playing at Reed Arena. When I got here, um, you know, obviously, the spirit of Aggieland took over. I uh, realized what a great network we had here and what a great accepting community we had. And uh, I could tell how influential being a fight in Texas Aggie Yellator was. And so then and there, you know, I decided that I wanted to do something on campus where I could influence and try and represent the integrity and honor that Texas A&M upholds. One thing that I have noticed is that um, a lot of people, a lot of my friends especially, are uh, a bit peeved by uh, a cha some changes of the yells. Um, for instance, the old Army yell, how it sped up. Uh, we understand that the football team requested that, but a lot of students that I've talked to would really like to slow that back down. Um, also, I've heard from, um, you know, super seniors, fifth year seniors and stuff that Yale practices used to be different. There used to be an order about how the Yales would go and that previously, you know, these last couple of years, um, things have kind of been changing and the Yale practices haven't been going how they're supposed to. One thing that I want to do is talk to, um, not necessarily an OLAG, but, but perhaps a Yale leader that's, uh, that graduated 10 years ago, maybe 15, and see some of the Yales that maybe we've forgotten that no one knows about um, and some of the traditions that they used to do, try and bring them back to, uh, you know, really experience what things were. Aggies are what make the university here special. Aggies are the Aggie spirit. And that's why we feel called the service university. This is not about, you know, jumping around and wearing white. I mean, that, that is what a yell leader does. But the most important thing a yell leader does is carry the Aggie spirit and keep that spirit. And that's why we're running to do this, not just because we want to be popular, but because we truly want to serve Texas A&M. And that's what this is all about. And symmetrical purposes. Yeah, and symmetrical purposes. Symmetry. One thing that we really want to do, um, I wouldn't say differently, but I'd say emphasize more on, because I know Yale leaders in the past have done it, but we really want to spring an emphasis to bringing everybody to the table. Yeah. Um, traditions are great, but if you don't have everybody participating in their traditions, then you don't really have much of a tradition. Um, a lot of reaching out to groups that you know haven't necessarily always been like at the forefront of campaigning or the idea of getting them out there, like a lot of international students, a lot of grad students, and a lot of doctoral students. Like I think those people are every bit of Aggies as the rest of yeah. us, and like getting those people to games getting them to come out and yell, come out to midnight yell practice, like that's every bit as of importance. And we really want to stress not just, you know, uh, certain groups, but just everybody as an Aggie. Because, I mean, the most important thing is just to be an Aggie. The stuff that happens on the field, that's important because the yell leaders, they, 
direct all the yells and stuff like that, but we really want to focus on the stuff that happens outside the field, going to Silver Taps, getting more people to Silver Taps. For sure. It's not just enough to have 6,000 you know, people show up to the first Silver Taps. We have to keep that going because that's such an important thing. Same thing with muster and the same thing with the howdy tradition. People will say howdy when you say it to them first, but people need to more initiate howdy, and that's one of the things we need to do because you know it's, it's one thing to say howdy, and we'll keep saying howdy, win or lose, but people notice when a yell leader says howdy, and they think to themselves, you know, that's the role model for the Aggie spirit, and that's what I want to do, and that's what Kyle and I are really going to focus on doing is doing absolutely everything we can to promote the Aggie spirit and not just you know, carry it on and keep it going, but to make it even better. I want to be a yell leader because I want to represent all the students on campus and everything that I do. I want to lead the 12th man. I think the 12th man is by far most powerful tradition. It, uh, it unites 48,000 students. It, it takes away all of our differences. It unites us towards one common goal. I'd love to lead the 12th man and again represent the student body to the best of my ability. Uh, I love a and with all my heart and uh, I'd like to serve in this, in this position. I want the students to pick somebody who they think really represents this university well, really holds themselves to a high standard, and is really just passionate about everything at A&M, whether it's athletics, academics, traditions, everything. I want them to pick who they really want to represent Texas A&M.